Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is creating good quality looking channel art for your YouTube channel. Creating a good looking channel and channel art is essential in getting those eyeballs to come to your page. It can be a little bit awkward when you're trying to create something that looks good on a computer and on a smartphone and on a television. But Google does a really good job of giving you some guidelines. There's a few extra tips I want to show you on how that works. Let's start by going to Video Revealed and I'm going to change the channel art here and we're going to see it update live. When you log into your channel, when you mouse over, you'll see a little pencil icon. You click on that and you'll see an option to edit channel art. This will bring up a dialog box with a drag your photo here and you can really drag any photo but we want to have something a little bit more interesting. Down at the bottom there's a how to create channel art link and when you click on that you'll get a, a little tutorial here and some guidelines on how all of this works. Like for instance for the desktop this middle area is what's used and on a TV it's the whole thing. And there are some files here there's channel art template in a Photoshop file and a PNG a portable network graphics file. I've downloaded both of these and opened them up in Photoshop so let's jump into Photoshop and have a look. So here's the difference I mean they look the same this is the ping file the portable network graphics file and this is the Photoshop file so they look the same the difference being is that the Photoshop file actually has the guides above it on another layer. There's no hard and fast rule on which one to work with. I prefer working on the Photoshop file because I can actually see my art underneath the guides. So I'm going to go to a background image here of some clouds and an eagle that I've removed the background from and I'm going to put them into my channel art. Here's your first tip. In the top left hand part of Photoshop you'll see uh, a little button in here to auto select and by default it's set to select a group. I have it selected a layer so I can move individual layers around. So let's say that I need to move my clouds which is on a separate tab here into another one of these Photoshop files. Instead of uh, copying and pasting make sure you have the move tool click in the middle and drag it up to one of these. So I'll show you how it looks on both. Once I've now brought that forward and I'm still holding the mouse, hold the shift key, let go, it actually puts it exactly in the center. And the issue with having the PNG file is that it, everything is hidden where you want to put this. And it's a little bit of a pain. So let's try the Photoshop file. Click and drag up to the Photoshop guidelines, hold shift, let go. And now I'll drag this underneath the guidelines here and you can see, oh, that's much easier. This is the, the spec and it's in a folder of that area. So you can see all the text areas and all the uh, outline areas. Basically you can just roll that up and turn that on and off when you need it. Now let's grab our other image. Click again somewhere on the image. If I click over here then I'm dragging on nothing. But if I click here and drag up, wait for that to come, hold the shift key down and let go, it comes into the center. And you can see we're working with layers in Photoshop and what's important about this layer is first of all it's extra big. That's a good thing. You might think off the top of your head that that's not a good thing but bigger is better because we're going to scale this down. If you don't turn this into a smart object and you scale this up and down up and down as you move it around you're going to lose quality every single time. How do you convert it to a smart object? Right over here. Right click in this side and you'll see convert to smart object and you'll see a little badge inside here. Now it's a smart object. So I'm going to scale this down and the easiest way to do this is hit Command T on, on the Mac, Control T on Windows, lock this together and watch this. I'm just dragging this left and right and that way I don't have to zoom out on my screen. And when I've got it a size that I like, I'll just hit the Enter key and remember I have auto select set up so I'm going to click and move my eagle over there. Next I'll grab the type tool and just add some type that I happen to have on the clipboard and position that where I want it. So remember that 
this area inside here, if we start turning things off and just look at our spec, this is the text and logo safe area for the desktop. A little bit further out is a tablet and uh, all the way out is the desktop maximum. So this is going to look good on both mobile and the desktop and the television is going to use the whole thing. So if I make sure this stuff is inside this area, it's going to be fine. This is a layered file and I've got to make sure I shut off these guidelines. And actually, you know what? I'm going to use these guidelines to grab a shape. This is a simple rectangular shape in Photoshop. Because once I turn off those guidelines, it's not really going to mark out that area. So let me drag in a rectangle, turn off the guides and drag this rectangle down below. And the one cool thing about this rectangle is I can click and drag the opacity down. All right, so now I've got that is my graphic art. When you choose Save As, we're going to choose a JPEG format, and it's going to flatten the art for us. Save that, save it as maximum, and now when I go back into my channel, and let's go and grab the graphic. We'll drag it on top of there. Take a moment and you can see that's what it's going to look like on a television. You can see it, it fits perfectly on mobile and fits on the desktop. And I could adjust the crop if I wanted to. I could click in here, but I can just leave it as that. Uh, go back to my devices preview. Turn off auto enhance because it's going to do some wacky stuff to your, your uh, image. And uh, when I'm done, just hit select and it saves and there it is. This is what it looks like on an iPad. This is what it looks like on Android. And that is how you get your channel art looking good and predictable. If you found this informative, then please take a moment and subscribe to Video Reveal. If you aren't already a, an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then jump on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.